Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rapid Chess here. And today I want to show you one of uh, easy endgame studies uh, I found. So uh, this is what's going on. Uh, White has an extra piece uh, and they have uh, this pawn which they cannot lose. Yeah, If they trade it or lose it, then um, it's over. Yeah? The game ends in a draw where Black even can have some chances to win. So um, if you play here like something like b7, yeah, you see that immediately black wins the spawn um, and it's a draw. If you take here, then unfortunately black can give check on b6, attacking the king. And king doesn't have a good square to go. If it goes here, it's important not to, you know, take this rook because white queens. But uh, merely to play rook to c6, and again the pawn is uh, uh, will be taken next turn, and it's a draw. So uh, a lot of problems here. Knight is also quite far away. So what do we do here? So the first move is rook to h1, pretty easy move. In g5, the only legal move, uh, and here uh, white throws this check. Uh, again, two moves for black, they cannot go here, so they have to go, let's say, this way. And here is the, uh, here is the position where, again, white faces the same problems. They don't have any good checks. If you give here, then uh, black actually wins. And uh, you, if you go this way, then again, black takes this b7 pawn. So what does white do? White takes here, uh, so they threaten c8 queen, and uh, black has basically one move to c6, and here is the masterpiece by white. So what, pause your video and think what white did. White plays rook c1. Uh, they hang up their piece and protect c7, so black cannot capture, and this is an easy win for white. So if black takes here, then that's what happened. Rook, uh, I'm sorry, knight c3, block in the c file and uh, getting the queen promoted. So pretty easy, but interesting, nice uh, study. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.